Welcome to another one of our Novena Reflections. I'm delighted that Steve is going to offer a reflection today after he has read from the book of Sirach, or the book of wisdom. This book appears in the Apocrypha. The books that make up the Apocrypha were written from around 200 BC. They were not part of the original Hebrew canon that makes up the Hebrew scriptures, but they were included in the first edition of the King James Bible in 1611. I think they have a huge amount for us to learn from. I now hand over to Steve for his reflection. So this is Sirach chapter 27 verses 4 to 7. When a sieve is shaken, the husks appear. So do one's faults when one speaks. As the test of what the potter moulds is in the furnace, so in tribulation is the test of the just. The fruit of a tree shows the care it has had, so too does one's speech disclose the bent of one's mind. Praise no one before he speaks, for it is then that people are tested. So I first discovered this text just a couple of months ago, and I really like the acknowledgement that we as human beings are not perfect. And the analogy used in the first two lines is that of a sieve being shaken. So the goodness is falling down through the sieve and you're you're left with the nutritionless husks at the top, the bit that you don't really want. And they go on to say that one's faults are exposed when one speaks. And it's fact that People are under incredible social and economic pressures in daily life. And it's inevitable that we are going to say the wrong thing at some time. And often with regret, we may speak out of turn and cause distress to other people. Or we may hear hear other people saying uncomfortable words that we might find causes us some upset. For me, the lesson in this passage is not in judging people by what they may have said or by what we do say, but in forgiveness. And we should be aiming to seek forgiveness and not to forget that. Thank you so much, Steve. So as we think about how we may forgive, and forgiving can be so difficult, perhaps all is best conjured up in that prayer that Jesus taught his disciples and which we still pray today. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen.